So I'm assembling an LS engine this evening and it occurred to me that I have yet to see anybody installing circlips the way I do. I'll admit I haven't seen a thousand people do it, but this is the way I do it. I uh, haven't seen any videos and I wanted to share it with you. I actually have two different methods, one for each circlip. So I'll install one on each uh, one end of the piston for each piston, then I'll circle back and install the rod and everything, and then I'll put the circlip in the other end a different way. So I'm going to share both ways with you. So this is a Ford headlight adjustment tool that I bought from Snap-on back in, geez, probably 1990. And I've modded it a little bit. This is something you could make with a die grinder and a screwdriver or something maybe. Hopefully you can see it. It's just got a little hook and a notch ground out in it. You just need something, hell, you could use a, a tire tool that you use to uh, insert the plugs. You could take one of those and grind it. All you need is a little forked end for it, okay? Now, I will set this gap here up to where it's clocked in front of this notch, okay? And what I'll do is I'll push this in like this let me clock this a little bit better. But I'm going to push it in. I'm going to push it in. Okay. Now you'll see it's hanging about one third out and barely at the surface here. If you push it in far enough, then it, it'll work out great. And this tool I made out of a couple of wrist pins, I just TIG welded them together. So you'll slide this in. I'll set this on the table and I'll push this side with my finger. To start to rotate it and then I'll use this I'll just set it on the table flat and I push down wrist pin squared up that quick that easy okay now I mentioned in another video and I'll repeat it again that I've got a systematic way of assembling these where I will take the chamfer of the rod on the aftermarket rods that always goes and gets aligned with, if you have a valve relief in your piston, it always gets aligned with the larger valve relief, which is for the intake side. This is on LS engines, LT, the late LT engines, and actually would get oriented toward the exhaust because the exhaust is on the left. Okay, so I've got the circlip in this left side. I've got my rod oriented with the chamfered side toward the intake. Everything's already lubricated in the pin bosses. I'll drop my wrist pin in. Okay. Now here's how I get the other side done. I have to wipe my hand so I can grab this tool. That stuff is gooey. Give me just a second. Okay. So I've got these small duckbill pliers. These are just some generic Chinese ones. I like the ones that have the little spring-loaded gizmo to help them. Stay open when you need, push, push back and give you some resistance. Now, it's important to use duckbell pliers because as you turn your wrist, you can apply some torque to this, and that's, that's what you need. So I will start this right at the notch of the piston, and then I'm going to push in, down, and hold the very end in the groove with this finger, this finger, right index if you're I'm left-handed so if you're right-handed change hands right but uh, I'm gonna hook this in here and I'm gonna push down and I'm gonna rotate my wrist and this thing's gonna drop right in usually okay so watch here just like that now it's sitting at the edge oh no it's in that's it that quick that easy so that's it that's how I do it Hopefully this saves somebody some time and helps prevent you from losing circlips like I used to when I started and at least eliminate some frustration. Be sure and hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.